My name is Peter Spierlich. I want to show you a new innovation on the HVAC sector for the KNX devices. Nearly 22 years I've been together with Siemens, uh, made my education over there also at the beginning of the school. And uh, then since 19 years I'm here in Switzerland. Then I was working for a company called uh, Deadwheeler. Deadwheeler is, I think you have in mind about network cabling. I was building up the sector of building automation at this company for three years. And after that, I built my own company. It's called Smart Building Design SBD GmbH in Switzerland. Uh, I did some integrations, so I was working on projects. And this company is still alive. I'm doing this company still over here in Switzerland. Then in 2012, my colleague and I, we started an online shop, the first online shop in Switzerland for building automation devices. We uh, found another company for that. It's Smart Building Services to see SBS. Since three years, I'm working for the company Tapco. Tapco, uh, the two guys that found Tapco are the developers, former times at Siemens. And with Peter Tomic, I was going to school. And with Oliveira, I was going to school. We grew up in the same region in Regensburg. So we know each other for a long time, for nearly 45 years for now. So what I'm doing, I'm a KNX trainer. I'm a KNX professional member in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. I'm uh, one of the coordinators for the e-house. It's a German project. We won also the publicity award last year at the Kane Experience. You see me on the right side. That's uh, some years ago. That's there are one two of Kanex awards for special projects in uh, Mallorca. It's um, self-sufficient. They they produce the, the energy and the heat by the self. It's not connected to any wire to get some electricity and they are completely self-sufficient. Sometimes I'm wor working also for the Connex Association. One of these points is I'm doing for now for the heating sector in Germany, some presentations and educations. So that's about me. That's short description. What we want to talk about is about KNX RF. KNX RF is the wireless communication on uh, building automation on KNX. For now, we have more than 20 companies that develop devices. There are more than 80 compatible products. And one of the advantages is that you don't have to have gateway. You have media couplers and the media couplers are working the same in uh, like uh, you have a line coupler from twisted pair to twisted pair, or you have an IP router that is working from twisted pair to IP. And these are media couplers where the telegrams go transparent through and uh, you have the direct connection on the telegrams and you have the direct connection to the devices. So you are commissioning these devices in uh, two modes. There is the easy mode and there is the S mode. The S mode is shown with the ETS. You do the same like you do before with the twisted pair devices. If you know these devices, you are commissioning it. You have an application pro program and then you're doing the parameters. You connect the group addresses, then you load it to the device and uh, then it's working and the same you can do now with the KNX RF devices and this is a, one of the advantages that you can the handling is the same like with twisted pair or with IP devices and the other advantage is you can do some remote services you can connect to this project uh, from external or for you from your office for example and then you can have a VPN connection and you can go direct to the window contact. You go direct to the push button on RF and you go direct to the heating devices on RF and you can see what is going on in the, your project by sending telegrams or by asking for the IP addresses, for example, or recording the telegrams. So the technical facility management is much, much easier for now as it was before when you use some gateways where you only see the gateway and you don't see the, the RF devices. So you got a short description, you got a short education from me now. Um, and now let's go to the device. This, this is the device. Its uh, name is Kinex Drive for You and it has an uh, RF connection inside and it's developed by colleagues here in Switzerland. 
so it's a Swiss quality. And uh, what are the features? The main features and benefits are it's Kinex RF S mode compatible. So it will have a push button where you press and you give the device a name, like the IP address when you, you are working with IP devices. You press a button and then it gets a name and then you can talk directly with the ETS5 for now with this device. And you get the, um, some uh, information about the parameters and the group addresses. Then the, the main advantage is that you don't have some battery to change during lifetime. It has a so-called Peltier element inside, and the Peltier element is an energy harvesting uh, uh, element. And uh, the advantage is that when the front is getting warm, to and this one is cooler, then it's uh, generating energy, and the energy is going to the accumulator that is inside, and the device is starting working um, at once. So it has also an internal temperature sensor. This is important for the feature that if you want to have it working out dark, that uh, it knows the temperature and the temperature sensor is on the back side. And then it has a complete, complete uh, uh, room temperature controller inside. Uh, you give the set point temperature uh, by ETS, for example, and then it uh, starts working by itself. And it fits on uh, threads. It's called a thread. This is a valve and this is a drive. And it fits for a uh, high Meyer standard. Um, I don't know in, uh, if it's known in every country, but it's uh, M30 uh, 1.5. And it's for the straight and for the angle. I have another a prototype over here and you can see it's for the angle also. Uh, so it's energy saving and it's durable and you see it's made of metal so it's very solid it's not made of plastic like the cheap one from some others <laughs> it's made of uh, aluminium um, and it's solid and it's durable and it's uh, running by itself you just have to press a button and then you give them some information about the physical address about the parameters and I will show you later um, the other features also. So let's see. This is my kitchen. <laughs> you see, it's a radiator from my kitchen. And uh, it feels, as I told you, it uh, also fits on the angle. This is the an angle. And on my kitchen radiator, it's an, uh, some kind of uh, three-way. So you just uh, screw it on. Then it's working. It has self-starting in heating station, you, so you, you don't have to think about changing the battery or something like that. It's uh, also working during the summertime. You can give, get out the temperature of the, of the room and you can change some set points if you like. But this device, I have to tell you, is just for heating. We are developing this uh, device also for cooling, uh, but it will can, come in a second step. So the use case, uh, one is when you're unpacking it, when you're putting it on the valve, as soon as the front is warmer than the back, it starts working. There is an internal set point um, on delivery uh, on 21 degree. So as soon as there is coming warm water and it's hitting the front, there is energy through the Peltier element and it's loading the Akku. The Akku is always is big enough to, to go through the summer also. We did a test with the prototype. If it's completely empty, um, then it takes about 45 minutes and then the Akku is loaded again and then it starts working. So you have the advantage that if you unpack it and screw it on Evolve, it will work uh, after 45 minutes when it's empty. And if it's not empty, if it's got enough energy through the summer, it's working uh, at once. So the room is not overheated when the heating season is starting because you have the set point on 21 degree and the, it will work on 21 degree. This is working without any programmation. You don't have to use the ETS. You just put it on your project uh, on, the, on the wolf and you have room temperature regulation inside. So the second use case is if you have um, an RF push button. 
This is uh, the MDT uh, KNXRF device. It has an internal temperature sensor. So you uh, use the um, KNXRF and the ETS, and then you program this one, and you program the uh, MDT push button with, temp uh, with temperature sensor. And then you have uh, the room temperature regulation inside. How to do it? You use a laptop with an ATS. Then you use uh, one of these uh, sticks. It's a KNX RF uh, programming stick. And then you can go through the air <laughs> on RF directly on the devices as you do it uh, in, for now, maybe if you use the ATS 5. So you know it about how to do it with the uh, twisted pair devices. And now you to just do it the same with the uh, KNX RF. And then you take the USB and the project is running by itself. The integration, you get the communication objects about the temperature set point. You can control value if an external controller is available. For example, this MDT controller. You get uh, information about the actual internal temperature value. You get information about the, the actual uh, uh, percentage of opening or closing. And you get information and warnings about the battery charge status. So when the battery is going lower than 28%, uh, you get that information. And you can change this uh, um, value by yourself also. So the ATS is completely uh, open for changing the parameters. So you can download it with this USB stick directly. You don't have to use any other devices. You take just the laptop of your ETS and uh, then it's working. So these are uh, out of my uh, educational slides. There are different ways to do the commissioning. On the left side, this is what I was showing before. Um, with a laptop with the ETS inside, and then you go with the Carnix RF, and you could go directly to the devices. Then there is a, some kind of media coupler. It's that line coupler on Carnix RF. You have twisted pair on the one side, and you have uh, the Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, the Carnix RF on the other side. And then this is the very nice thing. I do it often in my projects. I go there with the USB stick, and then I connect this to the cable, to the bus cable. And then I program everything uh, on a mobile. I can walk around and then I can uh, commission these uh, devices in the project on twisted pair. And you see on the other side, you can also go for to a media coupler to the IP and you can go to other lines. So the second thing is you use the USB. This is my commissioning USB. You connect it, this one to your laptop and you go to the ETS. And then you go to some kind of uh, other connector from Vargo and you can program your devices. You can go through the media coupler and the media coupler is programming your Kinex Air devices. And also like you, you know it with the twisted pair and the IP. And the, the other feature is also very nice. You go somewhere, maybe you're in the project, you go with Wi-Fi or connected to the networking, and then you're programming everything from the IP side, also the Kinex RF. So it's no different to the twisted pair or to the IP. You can work with it also the same, uh, the same way with the Kinex RF. So um, the integration in the Kinex system um, is what I told you before. So you have different ways. You can use the internal temperature sensor for your regulation. You can use Kynix RF uh, devices that have a temperature sensor, and then you can go over this way directly. You don't have to use any coupler. And uh, you can go the third way when you have a Kynix TP uh, temperature sensor, like uh, the one on the top on the left side or you have a room temperature regulator and controller, sorry, and controller with a display. Um, you get the external temperature by twisted pair. You go through the media coupler and sending it to the Wolf drive and he will handle that and he will drive uh, the Wolf to the percentage that is needed. And it's 
a lot of energy saving over the way. And for example, you can go also from backnet. So if you have a backnet, you go to a backnet uh, gateway and the backnet uh, room temperature sensor is sent to this media coupler. And from the media coupler, you go to the uh, KNXRF drive and the status is going back the other way. Maybe the battery status you get back on the other way. You can pre-order this device. We have a Swiss shop and this is called uh, KNX shop for you. And we have this device over there. Um, we are now in uh, the status of uh, prototyping. We are testing here my kitchen, for example. We are testing the devices um, when, it, when it's starting to heat and how much energy we get and so on. I think we, we are delivering the end of June, maybe uh, middle of July in 2021. We are on schedule for now. So let's see. So you have two ways to pre-order. You see the email on the left side. You go to info at Koenig shop for you, CH. You go to Sperlich at Smart Building Services, uh, CH. Um, or you go directly to the, our website, and this is Koenig shop for you, CH. It's in Switzerland, for example. <laughs> and uh, then you can pre-register. For now, uh, we think it will cost about 165, 85 euros per device, uh, this price. So if you're interested, you can contact me by email. The first device will be for heating, um, but we get information from the Kane experience uh, where I did also the presentations that people are interested in cooling in countries that where it's warmer. And uh, also we are thinking about how to uh, get a solution for a combined device where you can switch between heating and cooling. We have to turn the Pelty element, the Pelty element, but we will see. We will find a solution for that also. So if you're interested, just come back on me. Um, thank you very much for your interest.